Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to try to take a test. Best days of my life. <sighs> hey guys, welcome to Kennedy K. Today, guys, Chase and I are going to our first baby appointment. And so I'm super nervous and I'm super excited, but I just don't know like how to control all of it. So I might be a little crazy in this video, but that's alright. So we're going, I just did my makeup. We're gonna start doing our hair. And I apologize for my room, it's kind of messy. We literally just got back 2 a.m. last night from Boston, and now we're going to our first baby with ah! We're literally so excited. Also, you can see there's my little pregnancy pillow. I know I'm not like super pregnant yet, but I just got it earlier because I saw people are like, I'm obsessed with it. It's nice to sleep with it even now, so I was like, I'm gonna get it. It's the best thing ever, even if you're not super huge and pregnant yet. So first, let's start curling my hair, and I'll give you guys a little bit um, of updates of what's going on. How we do that, and then we're gonna get dressed, we're gonna go. Um, we need to leave in like 20 minutes, so we're gonna curl the hair quick. Okay, so while I'm curling my hair, I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit of updates before we get going. I'm almost 10 weeks pregnant, we 10 weeks and two days. We were just out of town when I was eight and nine, so I wasn't able to do my first appointment earlier, but we're really excited. From what I've learned, how this appointment's gonna go is they're gonna like learn a lot of my medical history, we're gonna do an ultrasound, Make sure, like, confirm the pregnancy. I am gonna ask them a lot of questions because, of course, I have tons and tons of questions. Symptoms-wise, right now, I started getting sick around, like, seven weeks, and it was pretty brutal at first. Like, just feeling sick was terrible, and it wasn't just morning sickness, it was, like, all day. And then I started taking some Zofran, and that's helped a lot, but I, now I only take that in the morning, and then usually I'm pretty good the rest of the day without having to take any medicine. I think I've kind of just learned how to kind of deal with the sickness, if that makes sense. Like, knowing to read my body and be like, okay, I need, because something you, you don't know, when you're pregnant and you have morning sickness because you're nauseous all the time, something that helps is eating a lot and, or just eating like snacks and having, instead of huge meals, having small snacks all day, basically. And I think that was kind of an adjustment for me because I'm usually kind of a, I'm not a snacky person as much as a meal person. So I think at the beginning, I was just kind of having a hard time. I knew I was supposed to snack, but it's hard to like, I'm not, I don't really love snacks. So it's hard for me to figure out what snacks I liked, when to eat my snacks, and I also had a hard time. I was so used to like just eating meals that I felt like I ate, I was eating like too much of my meal because I was so hungry that I started getting a tummy ache because I was just eating too much in my meal instead of just having small meals or small little snacks all throughout the day. So that's helped a lot. I've also kind of learned what triggers my morning sickness, which is kind of weird. We actually got back from Boston just last night and seafood was not one of my triggers, which was kind of nice because I was worried about that. But let me see. Spicy food was one thing that made me like super nauseous. So I've been staying away from anything kind of spicy. Sometimes I'll crave spicy things, but like I know my stomach won't be able to handle it. So I'll just like try to find something that's similar but not as spicy. Like I had Penang curry when I was first pregnant because I was craving it. Yeah, I should not have done that because it was, it made me really sick. Um, I haven't thrown up though, which is amazing. I thought I was gonna totally throw up. My mom, she throws up a lot. She gets really bad morning sickness and she, she threw up a lot, but surprisingly, I have not. Maybe it's because I hate throwing up. So that's nice. It's just the nauseous feeling is kind of terrible, but it's, it's fine. I feel, like, I feel like I haven't had it that bad, if that makes sense. Because I feel like I've kind of figured it out early of what makes it, it's what's my triggers, if that makes sense. So that's been good. Other symptoms, I've been so, so tired. I sleep all the time. I like to take, I used to, when I was first pregnant, or for when I first found out, I was taking naps all the time because I was just exhausted. And it was really hard for me to wake up in the morning. Now I feel like I'm better. I just sleep a lot longer in the, day, or in the night. So I 
go to bed at like 10 30 11 ish and then i don't wake up until like 10 30 9 30 ish which is kind of crazy i was able to work out the first few weeks and then morning sickness came and i couldn't really figure out how because i like to work out in the morning and that's when all my fun classes are and it was hard um, figuring out morning sickness and to try to work out but i feel like i'm at the point now where i can start working out again it was just hard because i was traveling a lot but traveling i actually was surprisingly pretty good and i was nervous um, being on the plane that I'll be more nauseous, but I did pretty good. I just had like lots of snacks, drank water. I took a Zofran. I saved my Zofran until the airplane, which helped, which helps you just not be nauseous, which is nice. I have a pillow that I like would hold to my tummy if I kind of felt a little nauseous, but overall it's been pretty, that was really good. Traveling was pretty good. I just would get lots of yummy different treats and snacks. That sounded good. Chase was always like super great. If I started kind of feeling sick, he's like, let's go back to the hotel. Or he would like, we can just sit down and relax. We like laid down at a park once, ended up being great. So traveling has been pretty good. We're actually going to pick up Janie from her mission next week. So I'm just hoping that it will be just like it was in Boston because Boston was went pretty good. Oh, one thing that makes me super nauseous though is cars, which is surprising because the plane didn't make me super nauseous, but driving in cars makes me nauseous. And it's mostly if I'm in the back. When I was driving in the back of the car, like in Ubers and stuff on our trip, that made me feel sick. So I just would lay on chase. Then I, if I start walking and getting up, I'll be fine. So I think it was just kind of, I already get kind of car sick, motion sickness all the time. So I think it was just in more depth. Also guys, I know it's kind of orangey up here. We're gonna fix it in my next hair appointment. They're just, my hair loves to, my extension loves to turn a little brassy. Anyway, other things, I am super thirsty and because I'm super thirsty all the time, I have to pee all the time. And so I always thought that you don't have to pee a lot when you're pregnant when you're like super big because the baby's like pushing on your bladder. But that's not the case, you're just thirsty all the time. Throughout your entire pregnancy, you just pee all the time because you're hydrated, which is great. It means the baby's getting all the little water it needs. I haven't really gained any weight yet. I feel like my stomach is a little more like pokey outy, if that could be a word. It's like, it's almost just kind of like I'm just bloated. And so that's something I've noticed. Oh, another thing I've noticed is my gag reflex is so strong. It's so hard to swallow pills lately because it just makes me want to gag. And I don't know why. So I've been trying to take my prenatals and it's super hard. I kind of dread it because I used to love taking my vitamins and everything like it was just, something that it was easy for me, but now it's so hard. I like almost throw up every time. Other than that, uh, so yeah, I've been a little morning sick, nothing super crazy, a little bit tired, but I feel like I'm starting to get my energy back. My goal is to work out tomorrow. And when I'm saying working out, I'm like, I actually go weightlift and do my high fit, which if you guys know I was gonna become an instructor, but things have kind of changed. So I don't know exactly if I'm gonna teach well, I probably won't teach while I'm pregnant because I think it'll just be a, kind of tricky. So we're gonna figure all that out. I'll let you guys know about all that in another video. But I, but I was able to go on some walks, which helped a lot. I feel like walking and just getting some sunshine also helped with morning sickness, just to kind of get it all, make my tummy feel a little bit better. That's pretty much all of the things I've had so far. What have I been craving? Craving things. I crave carrots. I crave. I love ginger ale, and I think that's just because also. I know that in my head, ginger helps you with nausea, and so I'm like, ginger ale, they'll always make me feel better. But it also is like my best friend. I crave risotto, but I think I crave risotto all the time anyway before. Um, I love risotto. With nerves wise, I'm really excited to become a mom. I feel like uh, it hasn't really hit me. Like I feel like hopefully this ultrasound will make it kind of more real. Because sometimes I like get super excited. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a baby. But it's and then it doesn't feel real because like the baby's still so little. So right now the baby, I have an app and then it kind of tells me like what everything is and how the baby's going and like every day what um, things are going on with it and what's updating and like what the baby's growing this day. And right now the baby's the size of a prune and he's very little. It's like, I think it said uh, almost like four centimeters is how big the baby is right now. So we're still really little. So it's kind of hard to like be able to see like, oh, this is real. Cause I don't feel like it's real. Anyway, I'm really excited. All right guys, I apologize. The camera died. We have to finish curling the hair so that we can go and I'll be late to our appointment. Okay, so hair is curled. Look at pretty. All right, now I guys have to help me pick what to wear. So from what I heard, you want to wear pants and a shirt. Okay, I need to pick an outfit. I'll pick an outfit and then we'll go. All right guys, Chase and I are in the car. 
We are really excited. Chase, are you excited? I'm very excited. We're gonna see our baby for the first time. I might cry. I'm just about to cry thinking about it. I'm are excited. You, are you saying it today? Yeah, we're gonna see the ultrasound. Oh, is oh, that today? Yes! Wow, I thought that was later on. No, we're gonna have the ultrasound today! Oh, I'm so excited! Okay, we're gonna go. I'm so excited. Can we find out if it's a boy or girl today? No. What will they know? They will not know. No, but like, will like the, the... Well, it depends if they see it. But we're gonna do the blood test. Usually you can't tell till like a little bit later. But if they look at the ultrasound and go, oh my gosh, it's a boy. We're gonna say, we're gonna say no. Do not tell us the gender yet because we have to have a gender reveal. We are gonna be that couple. What are we doing with the gender reveal? I don't know yet. We're gonna figure that out. Janie will be here though, so I feel like she'll be able to help me figure things out, which I'm excited for. We're just gonna open something. And then... Guys, we're here. Chase is parking. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. There's no parking spots. We might have to cancel. There's so many parking spots. Why are you wearing pink? Why are you wearing blue? Because I'm team blue. I guess I'm team pink. Chase literally just said though, he is gonna wear pink for the gender reveal. So we'll see. Guys, I'm so nervous and so excited. Oh, I gotta get my phone. Oh. We're going, we're going, we're going. All right guys, I did some test stuff. Now I have to change and we're gonna do tests and ultrasound. We're waiting for the doctor basically, but here's the ultrasound machine. And there's Chase. We're so excited. My hands are getting all clammy because I'm like excited. I was from another patient. I was gonna say, wow, it was quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a big bean. Yeah. There you guys go. Oh my gosh. So head to the right, right there, head. And then I'm gonna look. So there's the heart beating right there. You seen that okay? Yes, oh my so gosh. I'm gonna just capture that first. So right there is the heart beating. Whoa. I'm gonna cry, this is amazing. It is amazing, I agree. It's my most fun visit here. So heartbeat today is about 172, that's very normal. That does not tell tell us any information about the gender, the, the heartbeat. <laughs> don't go home and say, oh, it was 172, and then have your mom say, oh, well, that means it's, they don't know, we don't know. <laughs> so head here, here is kind of the back, down into bum, there's a little bit of leg. This is the umbilical cord right here, can you see oh, that a little wow, bit yes. there? Yeah, so that's kind of fun. So I'm gonna just do a kind of a crown to rump measurement. 10 and zero, we thought, what, nine and four, so that's not bad. We're pretty close. Plus or minus is almost seven days, about nine or five days, but but we're still within that window. So let's just see if I can get any different um, measurements. Is here. the baby moving? Yeah, that's all moving with the baby. Yeah, isn't that goodness. interesting? That's crazy. And cool. Yeah. Looks like ten weeks and zero days. So I'm gonna. That's only three days different. So I'm gonna keep your due date probably as is. Okay. And I think we'll stand by that same plan of saying, well, maybe we should wait till next week for the blood work just so we get even. Okay. Better results. My husband does ultrasounds on feet. Oh, do you? Okay, there and you go. And like, it's different. It looks different. Yeah, no, it's really <laughs> fun. So I th that's actually probably my best measurement, and it's nine weeks, six days. So okay. we're, we're still right there, so that's perfect. Guys, <laughs> we just saw the baby. Now we're gonna do some other blood work stuff, and I'm just so excited. All right, guys, we're back in the car, and look what we just got. I did a baby picture. I'm so excited. It was so cool because you could see the heart beating. You could see the baby moving. Chase, is this similar to what your ultrasound was like? What? I did not do ultrasound for babies. You did ultrasound on feet. Yeah. It's so, I just am really happy. There he is. There's our little baby. He or she. He or she. Guys, thanks for coming with us and watching our first baby appointment. We love you guys. Excited to keep going. Bye.